And cleanup begins in Saline County after a damaging storm rips through that area, taking down power lines and uprooting trees. The National Weather Service in Little Rock confirmed this was an indeed an EF2 tornado that touched down. Riley Birdwell joins us in studio tonight. And Riley, we're told this tracked about 1.6 miles, so a lot of damage out there today. Tons of damage out there. I saw people's homes, their shops actually leveled, windows blown out of homes, and debris all over yards and in trees. I went out and spoke with neighbors about what the aftermath cleanup looked like. The entire street I live on had significant damage. Trees uprooted, buildings leveled, and things scattered all in the yard. This is Tornado Alley. All due from a tornado that ripped through Sardis, Arkansas Friday night. Larry Cossey says it's not his first experience. It ain't like it's every year, but it's once every five to ten years there's a tornado hit somewhere in Saline County in this, in this general direction. The National Weather Service of Little Rock determined it to be an EF2. When they said South Malvern, that's our signal to get. This being the fifth time a tornado has hit this area, four of the five being an EF2. Cossie says they left behind something very special going to their storm shelter. Of all the stuff that worried us about, it was them two dogs that we dearly love. Approaching their home after the tornado ripped through, Cossie's heart dropped. We thought our trailer was in the middle of the road. It turned out to be our, our neighbor's pole barn. But when we say the dogs was all right, the neighbor's all right, we're good. We're going to clean all this stuff up and we're going to get back to the normal. Ultimately, Cossie says nobody was hurt and that all of the things that were destroyed can be replaced. I tell folks, if I can't get it back, I probably didn't need it. Larry Cossie says they were out cleaning up uprooted trees and power lines in his front yard since 10 this morning. And he says he's just thankful that nobody was hurt last night. Reporting in studio, I'm